Okay, so we're now going to have a look at how to bring in the identification signs or photos basically into 12D of signs you might have taken in the field. Just a bit of background, going to the working directory we're actually working at the moment, you can see here I've got my 12D project. I've actually got a photos directory underneath that which actually has some images and that will link into our project in a minute. You can see the, the date and the time and everything like that, that needs to be changed, that format needs to be changed and that's the first thing we're going to need to do. So I'm going to start a free software package that I can use or, or you can download and start to use, it's called Bulk Rename. I'm going to find the, the directory where I'm working. So under the survey here, you can see there's my 12D project and there's the photos again. I just need to select all the photos, basically all the all the files. I need to change those names that 12D will be then looking for. So to change the names, it's pretty easy. Um, you just need to highlight the JPEG. So this is just a renaming software package you can download. Um, I'm going to use the regular expression to start off with. So really anything, any of the expression in here at all. So I might just use 2013. And I'm going to replace that with a P. So you can see that it started to change the naming structure there, so that the names will have to change, basically, so 12D recognizes so as P for a photo, and then basically the vertex number after that. So using the regular expression, I can then come over and use this automatic renumbering. So I'm going to start with a suffix, starting at 1, and you can see the results then. So it's going to change the, the, the JPEG names of the files, um, basically from that date and time to these new P12345 that I need for 12 years. So I'm just going to rename those. That's all good. And I can then finish on the program. Coming back to the coming back to the photos directory now you can see that those names have all been changed and that's what 12D will start to look for when we load these photos in. Alright, so returning to 12D, there's a new button on the toolbars that have been that's been placed there to insert photos essentially or create the identification photos. This essentially will run a chain um, that's actually been saved in the toolbars area. That chain being called DTI Create Identification of Signs. So creating the signs. The chain essentially will first fire up a, a write XYZ file. Um, it knows the model and the string it wants to write out and essentially just takes out the vertex number, the X, Y and Z information. So we just simply write that out and finish that there. The chain then moves on to actually read in um, that um, photo position information, the, the, the data that we just wrote out. And again, the format's already been loaded in there to give the string number, the point ID, and load the data back in again. This will be placed on a new model called Survey or X Survey Photos and be added to the view number one straight away. So I'll read that, finish. And finally, the images is where we actually can then load in the photos itself. This is the same as available on the CAD toolbar and basically under the insert many photos. Um, the model that we need to load in is of course the X survey photos that the information we just read in those points. Um, the image folder, so we need to select the, the folder where those images exist and select that folder. Um, but we can then see here that what 12D will do is actually attach to each of those single points um, the P and the photo number. So that's why the, the Photos had to be called p one two three four etc. jpeg. We can read the files, so you can actually see all the JPEGs, and then essentially process that, and that'll run through then, and actually attach all the images to the photos automatically. Once that's finished, and you can see the photos are now displayed within 12D. You're then able to come in and use any of the normal editing options in terms of moving, rotating, or scaling the photos you might feel it's beneficial to actually go to the view toolbars and open up the CAD image toolbar itself to then go and edit these photos.